Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's another city girl here tuning in with another video. Happy New Year. Sorry I've been MIA. Um, do you even say Happy New Year after like beyond a week? I don't know. I sometimes keep it for two weeks depending on when I see certain people if take, they taking an extra week off from work. But anyway, uh, Happy New Year since it's my first video for this year, 2023. I hope everyone had a great holiday season and New Year's. Um, if you're new to my channel, my channel provides luxury, lifestyle, and some travel content. Uh, today's video, I am going to do a DIY. It's um, to make a shelf to go over my fireplace just to hide some cords. It's not aesthetically pleasing, plus it's very dusty. I have a very deep fireplace, but I'll show you guys before we head out. But anyway, um, I'm going to bring you guys along. Today's outfit is an old sweater from Dynamite. A hand-me-down shirt for my sister from Unico and a Dolce and Gabbana uh, vintage skirt actually. I missed out on this at a consignment store downtown on Queen Street. I actually posted on Instagram. I was debating about that one. It was like $120 but anyway I found it on Poshmark for $30 and it cost about $50 to alter it because it was really really big and it had to be really altered but for $80 bucks, I think I thought I did pretty good. Um, it's a pretty good deal plus it fits me really really well and there's no humming and hawing about that one so anyway i thought um i'll take you guys out and we'll go from there hey guys so here is my fireplace that i was telling you about it's very deep as you can see and the situation here is this my internet hope modem hides in this basket um, i put it in a basket so then that way there's a lot of uh, air circulation that's needed but the unesthetically pleasing part is these plugs that kind of stick out um, I want to find something that covers it um, and this also sticks out so I was thinking of getting a shelf of some sort to pop this on top so then that way um, it hides the plugs and it will still look nice but um, give me more space at least so that's my thought there we'll see um, I'm gonna visit Ikea and visit Dollarama and again keep it under $20 and go from there So today's mission is to pick up this spice rack. It's called the uh, Bekvem for $8.99 in kitchens. Um, it's actually a pine, but they painted it white here. So that's my idea is to paint it white and then either do rattan or burlap around here. So we'll see. So this is what we're here for today. In fact, it's on sale right now for um, those who are fa IKEA family members. It's $6.99 instead of $8.99. And so my idea is to paint this white and have a turnaround with burlap or a tan on this side and then cover the plugs. And then I'm gonna set the uh, basket on top. They have these printed shoe rolls, but not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for plain ones. Thank you. 
Hi YouTube, and we're back in my kitchen. I got all the supplies that I wanted to purchase from the other day. So this is, I think a couple days later from my trip to Ikea. And then I went to Michael's on a different day because my trip to the Dollarama was a failed because they don't have spring stuff out just yet. So I couldn't find burlap or um, the type of material basically like jute material but I did end up finding it at Michael's and they had 30% uh, off regular items so this was $8.99 as you can see in my clip it did run me $15 for both these I do have some paint here from the dollar store um, I have foam brushes anyway let's get started with this so the first thing I'm going to do is going to put the shelf together um, and then kind of go from there and then by doing this I think um, I can reuse the shelf as a spice rack or a shelf one day um, but right now what I'm going to do is put it together and then flip it upside down um, as an upside down shelf basically so thank goodness there isn't a lot there's not a lot of pieces there's only four screws and two wooden knobs to fill it basically and um all right guys so we're going to paint this white and then the next thought once it dries is to staple gun burlap um, especially in this gap area and we'll see how it turns out and then kind of go from there. So it is about half an hour later and everything has dried and actually the one coat is just good enough actually so I'm not gonna bother with a second coat of paint I'm just gonna measure um, the jute um, or burlap material and then just staple gun it on here this is supposed to be a really quick DIY I don't want to waste too much time on this anyway so this is perfect everything with all the staples there you go all done so for around 15 bucks which is the major the shelf and the burlap I got myself a custom shelf so we're gonna put this and it's versatile too so I can still use it like this we can use it which I'm going to use it upside down hey guys so we're back so this is the situation we're dealing with this is the basket it doesn't really hide everything and it kind of sticks out quite a bit over the mantle um, my modem hides in there like that and here is the shelf you can see here so this is going to go over the plugs really well uh, turned out really nice and then I actually upgraded my internet recently and got really excited because the new modem is a lot smaller so it's gonna fit really really nicely around it, it might be even sleek enough for me to put it just on the shelf and get rid of the basket I don't know but anyway behind the basket situation this is what we're dealing with it's quite dusty back there it's actually there's garbage back here too. Oops, I don't even know what this is. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna clean this out, vacuum it, and uh, sit the shelf on top and see how it works. <laughs> 